Hello and welcome to WWDC 2016. We have a really big and jam-packed morning plan for you, and we couldn't be more excited. We now have two million apps on the App Store. We are going to talk to you about four Apple platforms. WatchOS, TVOS, OS X, iOS. So I am really excited to talk with you about WatchOS and show you some of what's ahead. Your app should actually respond instantly. Are you guys ready? Okay, don't blink. That's it. You can just press the side button below the crown to show what we call the dock. You can choose which apps go here, and you can quickly scroll through them. With the watch face now, we've added Control Center. You just swipe up from the bottom, just like on iOS, and very familiar. So now when you receive a message, you can see the ways to respond right there. With Scribble, you have a new way to respond just by writing what you like on the screen. And you can just quickly draw the letters for your message right there, like writing something like Starbucks. And you can see the letters go right on top of each other. And we're adding a new watch face specifically for that called activity. We've also added a really simple new face that we call numerals. You can now just swipe to switch to the face you'd like to use. And we're going to be able to help with that with SOS on the watch, and we're gonna make it easy to call for help. To activate it, you just press and hold the side button. It's going to count down to let you know it's calling 911. Your watch will actually now show your medical ID, which is also a new feature in, in Watch OS. So we know that one of the most popular apps on the Apple Watch is the Activity app. So with Watch OS, we're introducing Activity Sharing. And there you will see your selected family and friends rings as well. So with Watch OS, we're launching a brand new app for health. It's called Breathe. And it's designed to guide you through simple, deep breathing sessions. And the preview release for you is available today, so you can get going. And the free upgrade is coming to all watch users this fall. And that's just some of what's coming in watchOS. Let's talk about tvOS and Apple TV. We now have over 1,300 video channels. And we have over 6,000 native apps in just seven months. And so we're making a new version of the remote app. This is what it looks like. It's got a beautiful now playing screen with playback controls, but most importantly, all the features of the Siri remote. Siri changed the way we interact with our television, and we're making it even better because now you can search movies by topics. Find high school comedies from the 80s. Now, Siri actually searches over 650,000 movies and TV shows now. But what about YouTube? Search YouTube for Steph Curry's three-pointers. We've got a great new feature called Live Tune-In. Watch ESPN2. Take it straight to the action. Single sign-on. <laughs> to dark mode. And all of you will get a developer preview today, and our customers will get it this fall. The name of the world's most advanced desktop operating system is now Mac OS. Our latest, newest OS X is Mac OS Sierra auto unlock like this and we're in universal clipboard but what if when you were on even your iPhone and you found some text and you just went to copy it that when you then went to your Mac well you could just paste it right in so let's make our desktop available on our other Macs as well and have those files be available to us on the go on our iPhones next up optimize storage First, it helps you make room for the files, that your new files, by keeping your older ones up in the cloud. But we also want to make it easy for you to get rid of files you'll never use again. We turned on all the switches for optimized storage, and we went from 20 gigs free to 150 gigs free. We're bringing Apple Pay to the web. When you click it, a sheet comes down and actually prompts you to securely authenticate your purchase using continuity right on your iPhone with Touch ID. Picture in picture. Well, now you can. You can push the picture in picture button. Your video goes into a nice little pip. Hi, it's me. It sure is great to be on the Mac. Show the files I worked on last week about the offsite. Have I ever told you your file in is so stylin'? Sierra is available to you developers in developer preview form today, and we're doing a public beta in July. You can sign up now at beta.apple.com, and it'll be available to everyone else in the fall across all of these systems. 
I'm pleased to introduce iOS 10. In iOS 10, we've redesigned the experience of the lock screen. I just raise my wrist and my phone wakes up just like that. This is especially great with messages. Let's 3D touch into that one. And here you see, I see the message that was sent to me. I can respond right here. Control center is available from the bottom of the screen as well. But if I swipe over, you see we have a special area for our music. We've made it easier than ever to get at your camera from the lock screen. So I can just slide over from the right and there's my camera. And we've made it easier than ever to get at your widgets. Just slide over the other way. And if I want that widget available to me at all times on my Today View, I can just add that widget like that. If I tap in, live action, Current. Siri because we're opening up Siri to developers. Send a WeChat to Nancy saying, I'll be five minutes late, quick type. Well, now we're using deep learning. And so it can extract information from a message that maybe says, oh, you're talking about dim sum at 11 a.m. on Sunday. Well, when you go to automatically create a calendar event, Siri can pre-fill it for you. Photos. The big news in photos this year is advanced computer vision, facial recognition, to object and scene recognition as well. We can bring forward things like trips. We can figure out that you might want to see photos of a highlight reel of the last weekend, or we can bring forward uh, memories of people that are special to you and topics. Most important, we pull these together into a intuitive user interface. Let's get started with maps. It's more proactive. So you slide up from the bottom and you can see suggestions. Maps knows that usually at this time, I usually go to work. Now we're applying all of these new designs to navigation as well. Now we give you quick controls to let you see route details. So now you can even look and see on your route where food or gas stations are, and Maps will tell you how much longer it'll take if you go to any one of those. Music. So today, we've got an all new Apple Music redesigned from the ground up. And now, their lyrics. So come on, we're gonna rap. Let's talk about news. It starts with an all new design. That's why we're introducing subscriptions. Now on to number eight, and it's HomeKit. We're building on the HomeKit framework with a great new app we call Home. When you launch the Home app, you get to see your own personalized wallpaper and all of your accessories, no matter who they're made by, and you can control them so easily. Number nine, phone. So now, you can actually get voicemail transcription of your number 10, and this one's a doozy. It's messages, because now we have rich links. And it's especially awesome when you get shared with things like video, because they can play right in line. You know, people really love emoji, and now we've made them three times bigger. And to help you always reach for the right emoji, we're providing emoji predictions as you type. When you tap on the emoji button, we'll highlight all the emojifiable words there, and you can just tap, 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 and emojify. We have bubble effects. So if you want to say it loud, you can say it loud. You know, sometimes you want to get across something personal. An invisible ink gives you the way to do that. So you can just slide your finger across the bubble and clear away. And so now we support handwritten messages. Think handwriting bubbles. And you see when it comes across, the care there is the ink just settles in. And of course we support digital touch as well. So you can send these very lively sketches. And sometimes what you say really deserves using the whole screen. So now messages can do that as well. And so we're opening up messages to developers as well with iMessage apps. With iMessage apps, iMessage has an app drawer. All of you developers can get the developer preview today. And again, we're doing a public beta this July, and iOS 10 will be available to all of our users this fall. Swift is a powerful and intuitive programming language. So today, we're introducing a new app for iPad. We call it Swift Playgrounds. And they'll be able to do it right on their iPad. So we're releasing it with the developer preview today. It will be in the public beta next month and it will be 10 ships in the fall. What a great morning.